All right. Good morning, everyone. Again, my name is Chinmay Bhavani Shankar, and I'm a Partner Channel Marketing Manager with the U.S. Partner Experience team. If you are part of the MPN 101 group on Yammer, then you should be familiar with my 22 letter long name. Over the next few minutes, I will give you an overview of the Microsoft Partner Network evolution, how our partner network is evolving, and what resources um, you have available to join us in this evolution. To go over the agenda really quickly, I will go through the public announcement and walk you through the new customer-focused competency framework. We will then go over some key dates and resources, so the MPN Evolution page, the Evolution Guide, Frequently Asked Questions document, and your support options. And then we'll go over some other announcements, including Office 365 E5, some upcoming partner community calls, and how you can stay informed as a Microsoft partner. The opportunity for cloud is undeniable, and according to IDC research, greater cloud spending will exceed $500 billion by the year 2020. To capture this opportunity, we all need to make bold moves and reimagine our businesses together. As an important step in this evolution, we're making changes to simplify the Microsoft Partner Network program so that we can focus all our energy and investments on building cloud practices with you um, together to meet growing customer demand. Over the next 18 months, we will be retiring some competencies, as you can see in the public announcement in the blog post by Gabriella Schuster, who is the general manager of the Worldwide Partner Group. And we'll be retiring some competencies and we will be adding some new ones. Typically, these announcements are made at the Worldwide Partner Conference, but since this is a change that is having a huge impact, we have informed you earlier and also to make sure that you're prepared for the 18 month transition period. If you haven't already read the announcement blog post, I suggest you take a quick skim and check out the comprehensive set of re resources that are available to you. All the resources that are listed here in her blog post, we I will be walking through in this call today. So taking a closer look at exactly what is changing. So the box at the bottom lists the 12 competencies that are being retired, which are volume licensing, learning, distributor, digital advertising, mid-market solution provider, OEM, devices and deployment, software asset management, identity and access, intelligence systems, hosting, and customer relationship management. Now, the rest of this call where we're talking about how these changes will impact partners will only apply to you if you have one or many of these competencies. If you have any of the other competencies or if you're part of the Microsoft Action Pack uh, subscription, then there is no change to your competency, to your membership whatsoever. The new customer-centric competency framework has six centers of excellence, as you can see here. The cloud platform and infrastructure, productivity, data management and analytics, mobility, dynamic business applications, and app builder slash ISV. Specifically within the mobility category, the Windows and Devices competency is the new competency that has been added. There are three key dates that you'll need to keep in mind. If you don't have any one of the competencies that are being retired, and but you're already invested in it, you're working towards it, then the last date to sign up for this competency that is being retired is July 30th, 2016. After July 30th, we will no longer accept new membership enrollments for these competencies. Again, if you've already invested resources, we want to make sure that your efforts don't go in waste and you will still get a year's worth of benefits for the effort that you've put in already. 
So you can get that competency by July 30th, 2016, if you're already working towards it. If you already have a competency that is being retired and you are thinking about renewing it, again, because you need time to work towards another non-retiring competency, you want to keep your benefits, then October 30th, 2016 is the last day to renew the retiring competency. You must renew on or before your anniversary date or before October 30th. And after October 30th, we, you will not be able to renew. Please also note that there is um, you, your renewal window starts 90 days before uh, your anniversary date. So for example, if your renewal date is in November or December, your renewal window starts 90 days prior to that. So you will still be able to renew before October 30th, 2016, but you'll have to do it early so that you can keep your benefits for the next year. The third date is January 30th, 2018. So this is the last day to be to be in to be active in uh, the retiring competency. These competencies will be completely removed from the portal and the partner membership center on January 30th, 2018. So that's the end of the 18 month transition period. And the reason the first survey question asked whether you knew your anniversary date was because it, the, the way this impacts your membership depends on your anniversary date. Now, moving on to the resources that you have available. The MPN Evolution page um, is, again, the landing page that you can go to to figure out how to plan um, for the changes, to figure out why this is changing so you can read the blog post and get to the blog post from there or you can submit a question and get your questions answered. This page leads you to the more important resource which is the MPN Evolution Guide. So um, this guide is interactive. It helps partners to kind of walk through um, what competencies you have and what is a suggestion or what the next um, logical step would be. Now bear with me here as I take you through that. I see that it's loading, so just a couple seconds. So if you go to mpnevolution.com, this is the page that you end up on. And from here, you can choose all the competencies that you have. So let's say I have data analytics, cloud productivity, mid-market solution provider, and you can choose multiple competencies. So it could be one or multiple for that matter. And I will also choose OEM. <clears throat> you could say I don't have any of these competencies, at which point you'll be notified that um, this doesn't affect you. But if I choose to continue, so I've chosen multiple competencies here, it does tell me that I do have competencies that are being impacted and of all the ones that I've chosen, the, <clears throat> the mid-market solution provider and OEM are the two competencies that will be impacted. So I think I chose cloud productivity and that is not something that will be impacted. So from here, I can choose which one I wanna um, focus on. So let's say I'm focusing on mid-market solution provider and I continue. And it tells me how to find the best option. Again, there's always a link to the partner dashboard on the bottom left corner here. So you can go there in case you don't know which competencies you have. If I click on tell me more, <clears throat> gives me a recommendation, which is the small and mid-market cloud solutions competency. 
it tells me why it is a good fit. And if I'm not sure, uh, so I can also go into tell me more where it takes me to the requirements of that competency, or I can just click on, I'm not sure if this is the right fit for me. And then it'll take you to another set of questions. So I just wanted to show you the tool to make sure that you're familiar with that. Going forward, the next tool, again, is the frequently, or the next resource, sorry, is the frequently asked questions document. Um, so this has been put together by the support team in anticipation of all the questions that you might have. So from generic questions to competency value pack questions to competency specific questions, this living document has it all and it will be updated periodically as well. So, um, as and when we get questions that we feel like um, it's not addressed in this document, we will be updating it. And just as an example, some questions that I think a lot of you might have, so how do these changes impact my partner incentives? That's a question on the document that's answered. There is no impact to your partner incentives through June 30th, 2017, unless you have the devices and deployment competency, and at which point, um, you, it talks about how it would affect you if you had the devices and deployment competency. <clears throat> the other question you might have is um, if you can use a single MPN competency value pack to schedule different exams. So I know we haven't talked about the value pack yet in this presentation, but the value pack is again a deeply discounted um, set for exams that you can take. And um, the frequently asked questions document also addresses questions specific to the value pack. So in terms of support options, your best options um, specifically for MPN Evolution would be the live chat. So when we went to the MPN Evolution page, at the bottom right corner, there was a link for live chat where you can talk to an agent while you're on that page. So that would be your best option to get any of your questions answered because the support team is well equipped to look at um, your membership and see how everything affects you and uh, give you exact guidance. So I definitely recommend that you use the live chat feature to get all of your questions answered. And even if it is that they just point you to the frequently asked questions document, or if you've gone through all of that and you still have additional clarifying questions, that would be the best place to go. So on the MPN Evolution page, on the bottom right corner, you will see a chat option. Please use that to get your question specific to MPN Evolution answered. The other support resources that you have that have been listed here, here is the phone option if you have a competency or an action pack subscription. You can also go online and submit your question. There is also a top partner questions um, page, which has almost every question that has been asked in the past. So if you have a question or an issue, chances are someone else has already asked it and the answer is already there. So I do recommend that when you look for answers for any of your questions, you use that as your number one resource. The search functionality is pretty good, so you should be able to find your question or at least figure out whether that question has been asked before or not.
Now coming to the NPN competency value pack offer. So it's a specially priced discounted value pack, which contains a voucher for one team member to use toward up to three exams in your chosen competency. Again, it's only available for a list of the seven eligible competencies that are listed here, which is cloud productivity, data center, data, ana data analysis, small and mid-market cloud solutions, cloud platform, data platform, and cloud CRM. So to figure out what the pricing is for your location um, and to purchase the MPN competency value pack, you need a Courseware Marketplace account. And when you register and log in is when you'll see the pricing and also um, what exams uh, you can take for each of these competencies. Again, you have up, up to total 15 attempts um, for the three exams. These value packs are available through September 30th, 2016, so it's not for too long. Make sure that you make use um, of this value pack offer. In summary, this is what you need to know for your next competency renewal if you have a uh, competency that has been impacted or that is being retired. So there are 12 competencies that are being mainstreamed. You have all of that in this slide. If you have one of the 12 competencies and you know your anniversary date, again, so based on your anniversary date, if your anniversary date is between now and October 30th, 2016, you have the ability to renew uh, your competencies, you will have to meet the current requirements and then follow steps for renewal. You'll have to complete your renewal before, on or before October 30th, 2016. If your anniversary date is between October 30th and January 28th, you will still have the ability to renew. Whether you choose to do that or not is up to you, but you will have the ability to renew. And given that you do that before October 30th, after January 28th, 2017, if your anniversary date is after January 28th, 2017, you will not be able to renew your competency. And I suggest that you um, go to mpnevolution.com and figure out what your next steps should be so that before your next anniversary date, you are prepared. The other resource that Gabriella had talked about in her blog post was the Modern Microsoft Partner ebook series. We have three of the five planned ebook series, uh, and they're already out. The first part was about the cloud opportunity, and starting from the second part, it's all about the four pillars of the modern partner as we see it. So we've worked with IDC. Um, this, so the second part is differentiating your business to stand out. And part three is about modernizing sales and marketing. So if, you, if you're not ready for a cloud competency yet, Action Pack subscription is your next best bet. For less than $500 um, a year, you get the best value for your business. You get resources to increase your profitability and also to go to market faster. You also have access to dedicated support. So that is your next best option. If you're still working towards a cloud competency or if you have a competency that is being retired and you're still not um, close to the next competency yet. Before I go to the other announcements, I'd like to open it up to questions specifically to everything that we talked about. And let me take the questions that are already there. Adam, you asked, um, are all three of the ebook series available now? Yes, if you go to the Modern Marketing site, with the link to which is um, on the slide, you will be able to see all three of them. And let's see if I can post the link to you. And 
And here is the link to the Partner Profitability and the eBook series. Steve, your question was, our only current competency is mid-market cloud. Um, does this mean we're all set? <clears throat> I'm not sure if you're talking about mid small and mid-market cloud solutions or mid-market solution provider. I'm assuming it's small and mid-market cloud solutions. And if that is the case, you are all set. George, your question, just to be clear, the competencies will no longer be available after a certain date. How can a person complete them now? I can't get onto the old portal. I have most now, but I would like to add the technical ones for the logo edition. Um, not sure I'm completely clear about your question, but I think if you go to the live chat uh, window, they might be able to support you. You should be still able to get all the competencies. Yes, they're retiring, but they're not completely taken out right now. So as I said, it will still be on the portal um, until end of uh, January 2018. So it's an 18-month transition period. None of these changes will be affecting you right now, but you have to get, if you're still working towards a new competency, you'll have to get that before July 30th. Heather, um, can you list the link for the value pack offers? Yes, of course. Again, all the links will be on the deck um, and you'll get a copy of the deck. And I'm also posting the link to the value pack offers. All right, if there aren't any other questions regarding this, we're gonna move on. So some of the other announcements um, for any upcoming partner calls or in-person events, please go to the hot sheet. So for the next two months, all the in-person and virtual events are listed on the hot sheet so you can plan your um, plan your next couple months accordingly. Uh, the next call that I'm doing is the new partner orientation, which is coming up on May 25th, 2016 at 9.30 Pacific time. So it's next Wednesday at 9.30. If you are a new partner or if you have someone in your organization that is new and that will be handling um, uh, your relationship with Microsoft or your partner membership, then it would be a good place to get started. The next call after that is um, activating your internal use rights benefits. So it's a summary call, if you will. There were a series of three calls where I'd gone into each one of the products, so Office 365, Azure, and CRM Online, and how to activate each of their internal, each of those internal use right benefits. This call on May 25th, uh, or on June 1st, sorry, uh, will be a summary of all of that, and I will just have the support team with me to answer any questions that you might have. You can use the hour to activate either one or multiple of your internal use rights so you can get up and running. A couple blog posts um, that I suggest that you read. If you are up for renewal or um, either now or in the future, there's the post about renewing your Microsoft competency. And the other one, again, related to this call um, that is happening on June 1st is about uh, activating your internal use rights benefit, which I think would be useful. Office 365 internal use rights, it's quite a talked um, about topic. So I just wanted to <clears throat> ensure that you knew that for cloud productivity and communication competency, um, Office 365 E5 is available as an internal use right benefit for silver and gold. Again, I'd like to pause here to take a few questions because we got a few. Lucy, you said your re-enrollment period will begin on June 2nd, 2016. 
Um, can you see now what is required or do you have to wait until then? As long as you've um, completed all of the competency requirements, um, I think that's still the same way to go. You can um, look at if you have a competency that is being retired, you can go to MPN Evolution and see what is your other competency that you'll need to get and try working towards those competencies already. Or if you want to renew this retiring competency, then um, all you have to do is make sure that all uh, the requirements are still fulfilled by the time you're up for renewal. I hope that answers your question. Ann Butler, um, when you say we must renew our competency before October 30th, does that mean we pay a renewal fee for all competencies? Does this change our renewal date? Um, and I believe it does not change your renewal date. Um, your anniversary date stays the same, um, if I know correctly. I think if you um, contact support, they would be the best ones to tell you. Uh, you. When you do renew, you will have to pay your renewal fee. And again, it's just one fee regardless of how many competencies you have. Nathan, I have a question. I did utilize my IUR and took advantage of the 10 licenses for 365. If I, if I need to purchase an additional license, who do we see for this request? Um, Nathan, if you send me a message on Yammer offline um, on the MPN 101 group, I will look into that. And I'll have to get back to you about that. You should be able to purchase it if you go to... Um, a.ms slash IUR, I'm posting that link. Um, should have information, but just in case, just shoot me a note and um, I'll make sure we deal with that. George, there is a bunch of questions. Um, so partner university questions, unfortunately, you'll have to contact support for that because um, it's not my forte and not the topic of this call. Um, and timelines for some of these tracks, again, also Partner University. Um, I will reach out to Stacy, and I think I've connected you to her. I'll make sure that um, you get an answer for some of your questions. All right, so moving on. The Worldwide Partner Conference is coming up July 10th to 14th in Toronto. Um, we have done a WPC uh, overview call already with Ahensa Mansakani and also an experiential marketing call, which was very interesting. So she kind of walked us through um, what the process is for her to build a partner experience at WPC and otherwise. So um, I would recommend that you look at those calls. but. Again, if you've been to a partner conference before, it's a wonderful opportunity to meet other partners um, and to get an insight from our executives on what's coming. You can register. Um, I believe uh, you can go, you can follow us on Twitter, you can read our blog, and again, on the Yammer post um, would be the best way uh, to stay updated on what's coming. We will have another call that kind of sets, um, gives you more information about the sessions and other logistics uh, closer to the conference. So keep a lookout for that. If you haven't registered already, please register and make sure your passport is up to date because you are going to Canada. And the last thing I'd like to leave you with is the Stay Informed slide. This is the one thing that you can take away which has everything on it. Um, how can you stay engaged with the U.S. partner community? Um, and what are the different technical communities specific to Azure, Office 365, and Windows? What are the training links? Links to stay up to date on Worldwide Partner Conference. 
what are the profitability and cloud adoption offers and support. So everything in one, these are the links that you probably will be searching for throughout your partner journey. So make sure you know where to find this. This will be updated so you can get the most updated version at aka.ms slash USP, stay informed. With that, I'm opening it up to more questions if you have any more. Nathan, yes, this event is being recorded and it will be sent to you. Um, and it'll also be posted on the MPN 101 Yammer group as well. Tammy, you can um, sign up into the Yammer group at aka.ms slash USP Yammer, which I've just announced. You will get the deck and all the links associated with that. Once the call has ended, there will be a couple survey questions, so please fill that out. Uh, one of the questions is also if you need help with anything, um, make sure you give me or answer that question with your MPN ID or an SR number if you've already contacted support. Um, and we'll have someone from support call you. So give us your contact information and MPN ID and a brief, brief description of your issue or something that you're facing right now, and we'll have someone reach out to you within the next couple days. Are there any more questions? If you have any questions even after this call, again, Yammer would be the best place uh, to reach out to me. Again, I am not support, so I will try my best to point you to the right resources and get back to you as soon as I can but I am available. So please do join the MPN 101 group and um, look out for other calls. I hope this call was useful and I hope to see you on the next new partner orientation call. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of the week.